Okay, we just got some unexpected but really great news. Larian Studios just confirmed that they will definitely make a Divinity Original Sin sequel, but not before our well-earned break. And yes, this is real. Sven Vinke confirmed this in his latest interview with IGN, and I'll leave a link to the article down below. So I'm guessing this is the next project they are working on, but again, don't hold your breath on announcements since it will take a while. And they didn't confirm this will be their next project, just that they will return to it one day. And this is great news, because many people have been wondering if they will stick with the Baldur's Gate franchise now, or also return to Divinity, but now we have our answer. So now let's go over what Sven Vinke said. Divinity Original Sin is our own universe we built. So we're definitely gonna get back there at some point. And then he confirms again, we will get back there at some point. We'll first finish Baldur's Gate 3 now and then take a break, because we will need to refresh ourselves creatively also. You're seeing 400 developers putting their heart and soul into this. You're getting the best of them and their craft into this game. And so I can tell you, it's quite a thing. So yeah, Sven said they also need to refresh themselves creatively also. But he also said in another interview that they hired more people than they wanted for Baldur's Gate 3. And since it's coming out next week, most of the work has already been done, and now it's just polishing and bug fixing. Sven said the game has already gone gold, meaning the final build has been locked in. But he also mentioned in today's gaming, a game doesn't really go gold anymore, since it will be updated with a day one patch and quick hot fixes after launch. Anyway, personally, I think most of the tech and engine they built can be reused for Divinity Original Sin 3. I mean, Baldur's Gate 3 looks gorgeous and is built within the Divinity engine after all. But maybe they will have less people working on their next project now, since managing a staff around 400 people around multiple studios worldwide is quite the effort. Now, while this is all very good news, don't get your hopes up for an announcement. Because, you know, first they will update Baldur's Gate 3 after its release. Sven then revealed mod support will be coming to the game as well. Currently, they don't have any DLCs or expansions planned yet, but it's also not flat out confirmed they won't be doing them either. And Divinity Original Sin 2 got free DLC packs after launch, so I'm thinking we'll at least get some sort of post content for Baldur's Gate 3 as well, even if it's small. And the other reason why you don't have to get your hopes up is what the article also said. Because they will first take a well deserved break. And of course it will take a while before they will announce anything this close after Baldur's Gate 3. And the game isn't even out yet. But if you remember they did announce a spin off game for the Divinity franchise called Divinity Fallen Heroes. This was a new tactical game with RPG elements developed and co-produced with Logic Artists. And the description of the game was Fallen Heroes marries rich tactical gameplay with RPG choices and consequences, and introduces a wealth of new features and mechanics to the DOS 2 engine. It will be released on multiple platforms later in the year. Delve deeper into the world of Revelon as you command your troops aboard the Lady Vengeance. Explore new lands and wield new weapons and skills. Build your squad and vanquish never seen before corners of Revelon. Divinity Fallen Heroes features two player cooperative play as well as a single player mode. But sadly, this game was first put on hold to focus on Baldur's Gate 3. But even worse, in an interview with Eurogamer, Sven revealed this game is now cancelled. Yeah. Quite the bummer, because I was really looking forward to this game. Anyway, he said the following about this game. Divinity Fallen Heroes. We announced that we put it on hold indefinitely. That didn't work out. Then the interviewer asked, is it gone for good then? And Sven answered with, yeah, it's gone for good. And there's one that you never knew about, I can tell you that. Souls for Frost Island was the codename. It was a separate game based on DOS 2. It got quite far in development. It was Divinity Original Sin 2 with new mechanics. I'm not going to tell you what the mechanics are, because we're going to reuse them for something else at some point. But it was its own story. It was fairly far in advancement, and we killed it in favor of something else. It's very hard to make multiple games at the same time. It's the next big step essentially, figuring it out. We've tried it multiple times, we failed multiple times. The funny thing is that we used to do it when we were doing work for hire. We did all our games at the same time. So it's not that we don't know how to do it, but who knows? We'll see if we're successful with the next one. We'll be a little more careful in announcing it. So Sven revealed here that they had a few smaller projects in their work. 
but were unfortunately scrapped and that they will be more careful in announcing new projects. But the announcement in the interview with IGN that there will definitely be a Divinity Original Sin sequel was after the Eurogamer interview when Sven said they will be more careful. So it seems like they truly want to return to this franchise one day. And I think that's great news. I think it will be fun if they make both Divinity Original Sin games as well as more Baldur's Gate titles. You know, switching between the two, or maybe even another IP or spin-off. Who knows? But are you excited by this confirmation? Do share it in the comments down below. If something gets announced for Divinity Original Sin 3, I will cover that game in the future as well. So subscribe to not miss anything. Oh yeah, also, I'm doing a giveaway for two copies of Baldur's Gate 3. Links are down below. And with that, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.